The aspirations of a season come down to the perspiration of the last 90 minutes. For Manchester City, another chapter in their quite extraordinary history of brushes with fate. And their team selection, already hampered by injuries, becomes an even greater problem because of suspensions to Nicky Reid and Mick McCarthy. No problems for Charlton Athletic. Their team is unchanged from the side which drew with Oxford. And here's the calmest man around, even managing time for a yawn. Billy McNeil, the manager of Manchester City. No race. Referee allows play to go on. And the right position at the right time was Phillips, and he was given the ball. Simpson who provided the cross, and Phillips. Get up the field, says Billy McNeil to his spectators. An early goal is what they want, but they don't want their concentration destroyed by a pitch invasion. The game's about 90 minutes and the manager is furious with the reaction of the crowd and how right he is from all points of view. Simpson making the break on the left and Phillips was waiting in the middle, totally unmarked. And Phillips scores his 11th goal of the season. Simpson made the break on the left but it was Phillips who was taking the eye because he was unmarked in the middle and he was given the ball and City had the lead. <laughs> Phillips, Melrose, real chance for number two. Good save by the youngster. Carl Harris, one of his former clubs involved in this battle at the top. Leeds United. Oh, he didn't look me! Still with the opportunity. Oh, amazingly, Grit couldn't get it in. Brilliant cover on the post by Jeff Lomax. Jeff Lomax has only played a handful of games, but he was the saviour of his side then. Steve Grit wanted to make too sure. Kinsey. Corner. Corner coming right on the 15-minute mark. And May trying to get to it. And did! In spite of the efforts of the 17-year-old goalkeeper and the 18-year-old fullback, Andy May makes it 2-0 for Manchester City. Almost a veteran by comparison, but he's only 21. And again, Billy McNeil sees people coming onto the pitch. In fact, I think a total of three. But City's total, the team is two goals. Andy May's third goal of the season, and how well he climbed, and he found the gap right in the top. Phillips. Simpson! And listen to the applause. The job is half done. Well, it's looking good for the home side. And people are able to listen to their transistor radios and not be concerned about the scores in the other matches. May. They've given him a bit of room here, though. one surely ball hung in the air but there was no challenge on Melrose as he made the header well they won't admit it until the end but inwardly they must feel that that is it Simpson in the chase. That's 
four. The 18 year old delighted. But at this moment, spares some sympathy for the young goalkeeper. He wasn't sure whether to come out and have a fly hack at the ball or whether it would travel into the area. It didn't. Simpson stole it and Manchester City lead by four to nothing. Foul by Tolmy. Two months ago, City led the first, the second division by six points. And a sequence of just two points in six games, followed by a victory at Portsmouth. But then doubt again, held by Oldham here, lost at Notts County on Monday. But the scene has now changed and the skies are blue. Melrose to Simpson. Six goals in nine games, what a start for him. Phillips! Yes! Another spectacular effort! How well was that £65,000 spent from Plymouth? Oh, he's loving every minute of it now. Poor lad, he had no chance with that one. The moment that Phillips came forward, one would have put a fair bit of money on it that the ball was going into the corner. He scored some spectacular goals this season, including a couple which have won our Goal of the Month competition. And he really buried that one. What a difference from two years ago on the last day of the season. Luton came here and sent them down with a goal four minutes from time. But now they're going back up. Grits! Oh. And they're certain to go if that sort of chance is missed. Steve Dowman, the culprit. Kimball. Lee. Good play by Robert Lee. Kirby Lee. Oh! And he hit the post. And they don't give it down. Kimball, Gary Kimball. It's a useful cross. And it's turned in by Robert Lee. Alex Williams will be disappointed. Spot his clean sheet. But Charlton deserving of some consolation. City have five in the net and a place back in the first division. It's all so casual and end of season is now. Oh, Phillips. Good save by Williams. Denying Gary Kimball. City are back in the first division. Not surprisingly, there is a pitch invasion and it will be a real battle for the players to get off. Most of them have done so. The police had not a chance. Andy May goes off without his shirt. He won't mind that. Police horses on the field. But the crowd are being very good-natured and I really think it's rather pointless trying to get them off. They've come to celebrate, not to cause problems. <laughs> Paul Powers lost his shirt as well, and there are one or two faces of concern. And I don't think Andy May is in any hurry to go back to the dressing room. One of the scorers Phillips the first, May the second, Melrose the third, Simpson the fourth, and Phillips the final goal. And the two years in the wilderness of the second division have come to an end.